everyone to another episode here Giles Podiatry. We have a very young gentleman, diabetic patient, who has presented to our office today. This is a very interesting case for a lot of reasons. I know I say a lot. I say that a lot, but um, he's here from out of town. We'll be here for a couple more months. Uh, works for a bigger company and is just here doing some work. And, you know, the, the fact that he's out on the, on the field a lot and he doesn't wear diabetic uh, inserts. He's, you know, this is a clear cut example of some of the long-term, you know, complications that can happen. You know, a couple months ago, sorry, a couple weeks ago, he developed a subsequent infection apparently here, ended up at one of the urgent care centers here in Miami. They gave him some antibiotics, probably some topicals, and that healed, but I think there's a, a recurrence of the ulcer so I want you to come just right behind me. I'm gonna move your foot this way, this way. We'll start with the, the right. Make sure we get a good view there. Please don't move. So we're gonna go ahead and, I mean, this is like, again, I like to use the word concrete. I mean, just, you can hear it. And we're just re carefully removing all this callus that's this is not where the problem is and it's really really hard to remove this skin because it's like a rock it's like concrete once we get over the hump right so to speak the, the top portion then it becomes softer kind of like that Let's go up here and see what we got here. So no ulcer here. Let's check here. We wanna make sure there's nothing underneath here. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Trimming a little bit of all this callus away very, very carefully. We don't want to cut him by mistake. And we don't want to take too much off either because then the skin underneath will just simply just break down the minute he starts to work again. So no ulcers here. Let's double check here, down here. Hmm. Let's go a little deeper here. These ulcers, at first glance, people say, oh, there's nothing there. There's nothing. There's nothing. I don't see anything. But you'd be so surprised how many hundreds of times we've been in this scenario and all of a sudden you find this, it's kind of like an underground cave, right? You just find a pocket. Um, I'm going a little bit deeper here because I see something that could be maybe a pocket. Maybe here. Let's see if that becomes 
he does have a podiatrist where he lives. go too deep there either. Right. This is when we don't really talk a lot. I'm not talking a lot on purpose because I don't want one of the little pieces of dead skin on inside my mouth. It may seem funny, but it's really not. Nothing there. Look at the look at the front here. Pain. Mm -hmm. It's painful because it's it's like a piece. It's like a pebble in the front part of his foot. Right. You won't even. Mm -hmm. Does that hurt a lot, bud? In there? You haven't seen any drainage, anything from here lately, right? Mm -hmm. Good. Everything looks okay here, bud. No ulcers there. No ulcer here. Let's take a look at this, everyone. Let's go to the... Let's go. Look at this. Sorry about this, bud. So we start just like that. Again, I'm not really talking a lot because these pieces of skin are flying. I've trimmed a lot of calluses. This is one of those calluses. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. This is one of those calluses. That really defines. That really defines what a callus really is. This is a pinch callus, very commonly seen patients with flat feet. He has extremely flat feet, but you gotta be, we also have to be very careful how much we take off because it could be a little bit more uncomfortable if we take too much. If you, it, like this is like, again, concrete. I continue to say that word because I, I there is no other word to describe how 
rough and tough and just, you know, what it really feels like. How does that feel? Still sore, but does it feel any better? Should feel. A little bit. I think once you put your foot down, right? Yeah. Once you put your foot down, I think you'll be able to really, really appreciate. This is, these are ginormous. Do we have a good, a good there? A good visual there? Here. And again, we're just trying to look for that happy, happy place. Not too much, not too little. One more. This is a problem. He's very young. He had surgery here before. The only problem, the only problem that, that they did, and again, we don't really have a lot of information in respect to the, to the history of this toe, but the only problem is everyone can see there's no nail. So now I'm gonna ask the patient, where's the nail? Oh no, the nail cannot come out because it's a callus in the water. Right, so what I suspect was, right, so so what I suspect is that for, I can't move the toe, that means that's probably, you know, the previous surgeon probably maybe fused it, maybe. I'll take a look at the x-rays. That's why I can't move it up or down, you see? A little bit down, but what I'm gonna recommend before he leaves, because we can't do anything now because he's here from out of town, is I'm gonna recommend a, a minimally invasive procedure, right? Release the tendon on the bottom, one little stitch, and that- what he did. Huh? Did what he did before. He did that as well? He did that before and it failed. It he failed? It failed right down. It fell back down? So, yeah, so right now, the reason why there's no nails because the you know he's been walking on the tip of the toe, and believe it or not, look, this is where the nail was. <laughs> does this hurt by any chance? Yeah. It does? Because I got a cat right there too. We're not gonna again, same thing, we're not gonna take a lot out. We're gonna we're not gonna take a lot out. Because if we do, it's gonna it's gonna definitely just totally break it'll break open. We'll leave it like that. So we're gonna probably recommend a little crest pad here just to keep the toe up like that for the time being. And then uh, before before he leaves, before he leaves and maybe he'll, he'll come back here. I don't know how long you're gonna be here for, but uh, it would be a great thing to have you come back for just to take a look at everything. You see, it's, we're very, it's very fragile even you know, there's been so much trauma there that you can already tell that it wants to just, you know, break open. This is very, very fragile. These little pinpoint little areas of redness. And even here. Just making sure there's no, there's no fluctuance or anything that, that's hidden in one of these quote unquote caves, right? fungus, nails. We'll go ahead and take care of all those today as well. He's 34 years old, 34 years old, diabetic, young patient. You know, this is, this is where it all starts. He's been, he has a podiatrist at home, which is great. He's gonna continue to see him. This is something, like I've said it before, when it comes to saving limbs and saving lives, this is where it all starts.
this is it. It's imperative. You know, he needs sort of like a, I've said it before, not the mommy makeover, the foot makeover. He needs one of those just to get everything into place. Shoes, his insurance covers the diabetic shoes. The inserts, custom molded diabetic uh, accommodative insoles to avoid all of this. This is just a ticking time bomb waiting to go poof. You're in good hands and feet. At least during the time that you're here in Miami. The aftermath is on the floor. Like always, thank you for watching.